What up guys? Back for another one. Finally got my Eurocode rear uh, hatch brace in. Got it in yesterday. Haven't unboxed it yet, so we're gonna unbox it. Since it took like six weeks to get here, as you can hear, some like soft stuff in there. They should have, they said they were gonna include like a shirt and some shit, so we'll see what else they threw in here. Hopefully it's as good as uh, the internet said. I had doubts for the uh, front bar, which I'll link at the end of this video. If you don't have the strut brace for the front, it is amazing. It's like between that and the Tyrol Sport uh, dead set kit for your front end, that's like the best mod you can do for steering feel. I'm telling you, it changes everything. Look into it, Euro code front strut brace, but this is uh, the rear one for the hatch inside. And it sits real low, so you can still like utilize your hatch and put your seats down and not really compromise for any space. But I will be taking my back seats out. I need to lose a little bit of weight. Um, at least I think I do. <laughs> so the back seats are coming out. This is going in. And then uh, that's, this is pretty much like the last part that I needed to delete some weight so I can finally get corner balanced. So we'll be doing that sometime. Eventually, well, I need to get the fuel system in and once the turbo gets here, there's that extra weight as well, but uh, One step closer to getting corner balance Okay, well we got a nice shirt Euro code there Euro code on the back Should fit pretty decent. It might shrink a little bit nice all right, let's see what's all in the phones here. Do some nice bracketry. All right. Now that is some quality right there. That is nice. Let me get the, look at that. You get two of these bad boys. Very nice. See the machining. Nice. These look like the same from the front brace, actually. Nifty. Should be reverse threaded if I recall correctly. Nice little pieces here. Of course, you got your bag of hardware. And then the brace itself. And there's the bar. Seems pretty simple. It should go in in like 10 minutes, so. Yeah, nice. Well, before this brace goes in, these back seats are coming out, along with the little uh, lid thing. Um, eventually this car will be going like totally 100% full race car, so I'm not too worried about the back seats for you guys that are like, oh, why are you doing that, blah, blah, blah. I wish I had a two-door, honestly. The back seats would have been out a long time ago. Um, I probably only have some in my back seats, like maybe like once a quarter, a couple times a year. Like I don't really ever have someone in the back seat, so. Um, there's no real point for them. A little easy weight reduction. And uh, I, you know, throw my tires in the back all the time anyway on the weekends to go to race events because I'm switching wheels in and out. So, no real point for them being there. And uh, so they're coming out. All right. Well, so far, so decent. You just lift up the seat. It's going to, it has like some uh, Velcro here where you pop it up. You can see how they slip in there, so it's just gonna pull right out. I haven't figured out how to get the top ones out yet. I think um, it's somewhere beneath here. It's definitely not like the Mark IV where you put this down and it just kind of unhooks here and it pops up to the side. So I'll keep experimenting here. I feel dumb, but I had to look it up. <clears throat> so uh, you gotta take everything out of the back down here. You got your little your little cover and all that. So um, with the seats like semi up or however, you got this cover over this spot. And then uh, there's a T30 there. We'll take that out. And then uh, once that's out, I believe you can just like pop this one out, pop that one out. Um, then I'll take out those little plastic bits on the other side, vacuum this up. I don't even know how this is so dirty. Um, I've never really had anything back here other than tires, so. And I've never had this out either, so there's that. Weird. Once that, uh, T30 is out, that's what holds this bracket in. As you can see, it kind of, like, hooks 
around the other side is sitting like this so I had to like hold on to the bottom of it and move the seat up and down and then this thing just popped out and then boom got this now it'll slide out of there and then you'll be able to do the same thing over here um, it's definitely different than the Mark IV. I never would have figured this out on my own. So I'm glad I did look it up. But, uh, I'm going to get these seats out. Get the floor piece here back in. I might get, like, the Euro Customs, like, rear seat delete. Because I kind of want it to look, like, semi-pretty until I go, like, full retard with this. But, at the same time, I don't really care. But, I don't know. We'll see. Eventually, I'll take the seat belts out. That'll be a different week. I'll probably take out everything back here. Um, I do like having these little cubbies though, got that stuff, always keep some oil and gloves with me, of course the sub, gotta have the beats, so, um, yeah. Well, to get this heavier, bigger section out, it's upside down in here, you have to disconnect uh, to where the middle seat belt goes which goes to here so you do have to take at least this uh, seat belt out uh, they're both 17s I just took out those plastic bits um, yeah I'm gonna take a vacuum to it here in a second I'm gonna throw all this in a uh, plastic bag and mark it I'm gonna put all these in probably trash bags or something to keep them clean and then just throw them up in the attic um, I just looked up the weights. It's quite a bit of weight, actually. The bench seat itself, I think, is 12 pounds. Let me see this again. About 60 pounds. And if you add, like, a spare tire, it's 39 pounds. Tools is 8 pounds. Styrofoam tool holder, 3.8. Um, floor mats, 3.4 and 9.4. Gorilla mat trunk cover, which I have that, 5.2. Trunk deck lid, 4.2. Total seat only, removal, including deck lid, 64 pounds. Total seat, tires, spare, cover, tool removal, including deck lead, 125.8, including the Gorilla Mat, is 131 pounds. So, it leaves quite a bit of weight back here. Um, I don't know how that really offsets the car's balance, but a, quarter, a corner balance would be needed, definitely, if you're taking out that much weight, in my opinion. Which is something I definitely plan on go doing. This is the nearest place to do it is like three and a half hours away. So, eventually. Here we go. We got everything nice and clean. Seats are out. Now, we start the install. So, over here on this little guy, you're going to need a scribe or a pick or something. You got to somehow pop this thing. have to figure it out. There we go. All right. Then you got 12 point behind it it's the m8 triple square or 12 point whatever you want to call it but uh find the proper socket throw it on that get it off and that's will be where it's mounting all right from here on out we'll be mostly using a six mil allen key um you can see the bracket it only goes in one way you got the two holes there uh, you got your two pins there and the one bolt hole, one bolt hole, and goes in, boom. Same on both sides. Get her nice and good and tight. It says to use Loctite, so use Loctite. You see I got one bolt in there, one bolt in there. You're going to have to just remember... Uh, whatever side that you mark left, I, I use this as the left side because it was just easier for me to remember. I like it tightening towards me, not away from me, because it's reverse threaded on one side. The left side is reverse threaded. So for me, going towards me will be expanding the bar, and then going towards the front seats will be bringing the bar in. So uh, you want to make sure all your bolt holes are lined up just perfectly. If you stick just one in, and then twist it. You can sit here and twist it until uh, it uh, matches up with the other side. I'm going to stick all four of these in, sink them down, not tight. Then I'm going to turn this by hand until I feel resistance. And then you tighten them down to whatever torque. And then you go in with a wrench on this part and turn it 45 to 90 degrees to preload it. And then you torque everything down um, officially. All right. I got everything in. I turned it until I felt resistance towards me, 
because that's how I have it set. You can see I have the L over here, so when I'm turning it this way towards me, it's expanding. So you turn this until you feel resistance, which means it's getting tight on the nuts, these four. And you're tightening those four, well, all six, really, all six Allens to uh, 12 foot-pounds. Um, I tighten these down before I put the bar in. It says not to do that. I don't really care. Um, yeah, put those down to 12, and then these jam nuts will go to 15. But before you tighten those down, you need to take a wrench to this and go 45 to 90 degrees. Now I'm going to set the preload here. Go a good, good 90. A little over 90, but that's, that's good enough for me. And then uh, we'll tighten down these jam nuts. Now as you can see here, everything's in real nice. Make sure you tighten these jam nuts. But she's in there. I wish they would have sent me a sticker to put on here. So I'll put on somebody else's sticker on there. But uh, yeah, she looks good. Back seats are out. Hopefully permanently. Like I said, I'm leaving this in for now. I might get the seat delete, which will make this the same height across because with me hauling my tires and all that I'm going to have to like change the way that I I don't know I don't know the tires might sit just right I might actually just like this better but we'll see we'll see how this goes but she's in I have to be at work in like 30 minutes so I'm not gonna be able to go out and just drive around and have fun but uh over the next couple of days I'm gonna go out and, and play around so I'll definitely let you guys know how this feels um it's just going to be here in a couple seconds anyway for you guys, but super excited. The quality is A1, install, easy as hell. You don't have to take your back seats out at all. Um, I'm just doing that because I'm being extra, but um, yeah, I'm super excited. Well, it's been a couple of days, well, like two days really, since the bar went in. I have zero complaints. Uh, you can actually kind of feel... The weight difference in the corners, like the back, I don't, maybe it's just because of the bar, but uh, you can definitely feel it. It's not anything drastic, nowhere near as drastic as the front bar, um, but these paired together definitely feels super nice. Um, obviously, I haven't been on the track with it yet. Next Sunday, uh, Autocross Amarillo, hoping for another first place. Wish me luck, but uh, we'll really t put it to the test there, um, especially with the back seats out. That'll be the only mods that I've done since the the, the event before that. Um, I would buy it. I mean, obviously I did, but if I were you, I would buy it. You buy them as a set for however much it is. I have a link down in the description. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, so this is like straight up truth. Um, no bullshit. Definitely feel the difference. There's other guys out there running. And my Mark IV I ran, the Eurosport cross brace, and then you got the uh, Unibrace out there. Um, those are both... Very good options. You do have to drill for those and put in nut certs. But the price of that cross brace itself is more than uh, both of these braces together. Um, I want to try something different. I don't really care about the space between the two. If I would have the money, I probably would have bought the Euro brace or the, uh, the Unibrace. That and then they make one for like under the chassis as well. Um, so maybe if you have the money, go for that. But has a combo deal um, for the price and the performance. You can't really beat it. Um, I'm definitely happy with it. And I got no weird noises really coming from the bar itself. The little false floor there, um, since the back seats aren't aren't in, it's not like the edge of it where if this is the back seat where it sits up against, it has room to move now. So like going over bumps and stuff, you can kind of hear it like moving back and forth up against like the hatch door or whatever. Um, so I'm probably going to take the floor out while I'm not like hauling anything to get rid of that noise. But other than that, it's great. Um, as I said, check to the description down below. Stay tuned for this weekend's autocross video to know how it really performs on the track. Um, it's supposed to be really nice. It's supposed to be like 75 on race day. So, and she'll have the, uh, it'll be the first SCCA event with the M3 for her. Um, I think she'll still just be in the ladies class up there with them, but it'll be, be nice to see. We should have the motor mounts and the diff mounts in her car by then. And she just ordered her Vanos system refresh. Coilovers are coming up next month. Wheels and tires a month after that. Um, so her car's coming along very nicely. 
but anyway thanks for watching if you got any questions feel free to comment down below forget i have these pop sockets for sale i've sold a couple of them to you guys shout out to jason he bought two of them this week mine looks worn because it is super warm um i've had this one here for over a year now it's holding up just fine but um hit me up before one of those thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the flip flop